So I've got up for my morning meditation. I found here on the stool there's a sleepy bumblebee. I've heard about this and that they get knackered this time of year. And that what they like is a little bit of watery sugar. That's what I'm going to give this fella. See if this helps him. Come on. There we go. A little bit of sugary breakfast for this fellow. He looks totally knackered. Well, what I've done is um, built this little bee a, a kind of escape pod. Um, so I've got to go out now for the day, but um, I didn't want to just leave him outside because I thought he might get just eaten by a bird. So I've put him in here with a little tray of sugar water and a kind of root out to the outside world. But right now he's just completely knackered and is dozing not much activity at all so he's not in a good way but I'm hoping that he's, he's just having a, a rest and that he'll be okay and when I come back he'll have gone good luck little fellow so I've come back the next day and I'm hoping he's flown away at least he's not on my little escape uh, pad he doesn't seem to have fallen on the floor so I hope he made it I hope he got his energy back and, and uh, flew away. Yep, I can't see him on the floor. So I hope he made it out. So yesterday I came across that bee on my meditation cushion um, and it was totally knackered and um, kept on trying to crawl away or fly away. Uh, and it was really trying to be like a, like, a, like a busy bee. Like it had places to go, it had things to do, it had pollen to collect. Um, but it just didn't have the energy. It would it would try and fly away and 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 buzz its wings, but it wasn't able to lift itself up because it was so knackered. Um, and really, it just needed to rest there for a bit and to to drink the the sugary water that I was trying to give it. Uh, and eventually, its energy uh, would come back as it did in the end. And I couldn't help but see um, a kind of metaphor in this for for all of us that we have such busy lives, we're so focused on our plans, on all the things we have to do, the places we have to go, uh, the people we have to meet, that we get really burnt out. Um, and really what we need to do sometimes, just for a bit of time, is to just sit there, um, rest in the moment, rest on that cushion, follow our breath, uh, and and uh, look within us where we'll find the the spiritual equivalent of sugary water, which we can drink from, and rebuild our energy and just do that for a bit until we are revived and restored. And then if we want, we can fly away and do all the important things we have to do. But if we're just focused on, on that uh, outside world and all that busyness, we're gonna end up burnt out. So we also need to learn to just sit there sometimes and rest and heal.